Cancer and happy February 2018 and I hope this month finds you well and I hope that you are going to have a fantastic February. We're going to have a look. I'm pretty sure it's going to be great. It's going to, it feels like a month when a lot of things are going to be changing. There's going to be a, a gear change. Things are going to shift into a higher gear, into a place where we all feel a little bit um, easier because we feel that the, the momentum is beginning to to build and to grow again we are coming into a stronger sense of alignment with ourselves this is the general theme of the times and for you this month it's going to be about getting really clear about what you let in and what you keep out in terms of your energy in terms of boundaries in terms of people places things information even you might have to stop listening to um, certain kinds of you might already be doing this but you might have to stop listening to uh, 3d news broadcasts and not letting in any of that you know it's like you don't have a very high tolerance for a low frequency at the moment because your sensitivity is at an all-time high it's always it's always acute but at the moment it's very high and it's because the universe is asking you to be very honest with yourself about what you want about what you want in your environment environment and what you want in your life and so your sensitivity is being heightened so that you'll get clearer and clearer and clearer and acutely more clear as the days go on about what it is exactly that you want what you want now what you want next what you want over the coming year you are going to be releasing issues to do with self-esteem, anywhere that you haven't been valuing yourself, anywhere that you've been allowing yourself to be devalued or where you haven't been asking for what you want, where you haven't been uh, truly allowing yourself to be yourself, um, particularly to do with um, receiving back for the work that you do, um, but it can also be to do with um, just giving in your wider community or just just generally not feeling as if you ask for for what you want or as if you have been valuing yourself enough generally so you're going to be releasing that but you're also going to be releasing any sense of of feeling bad about it and hanging on to it and retelling the story of it you're going to be releasing all of that and focusing on opening up more and that is really beautiful to see because the more you love yourself, the more you can open up. The more you take care of yourself, the more you can let others in. And that is really what's waiting to happen for you, for you to let go of any of those sad stories about, um, you know, not being treated fairly or not valuing yourself enough and just saying, it's up to me to how I treat myself and how I see myself and how I value myself. And there is a whole world of richness of allowing people in, of giving and receiving, of balancing, of enjoyment, of, you know, of hugs and, and closeness and experience and you know all of those all of the range of possibilities that we have when we come into a physical body and we come sometimes to learn about all of these things that's all there for you and it's a great challenge for you to learn how to take care of yourself so that you can open uh, be more open to love and to intimacy and to letting others in and expressing yourself through your connections with others. So it sounds all a bit vague, but it's a wonderful one to have, especially at this time of year, because when you're, um, when you're working on committing to intimacy, you really are always working on yourself and you are working on love, essentially. So that's gonna be lovely. I've just been told to stop there. So I'm looking at the first, second, third and fourth. And I feel like you're gonna get some really nice surprises actually to do with that. I don't think you know how much you are loved and valued. And I think that you might get a sense of that at some point in February. I just had a really strong sense of that cancer. And so, you know, I look forward to hearing about that. You can come back and tell me. Um, right, so let's give you an angel card as well. First, second, third and fourth week of February. So the first week 
Oh, great. Okay, so the first week you have material harvest. So you are definitely letting go of any sense of not valuing yourself, not being valued and not receiving. That can also be in the area of finance. So it could be that in that first week you begin to actually already see signs that you are valued and that those old stories are beginning to um, recede into the background those stories of not collecting what's owed to you or not being rewarded fully for what you do so that's fantastic a great way to start the month um, but also um, it's it's advice because it's saying in order for you to actually receive the material harvest that you now want you are going to have to prioritize you're going to have to focus on your priorities with meticulous care you're going to have to conserve your energy where you need to you're going to have to if this is a, a uh, you know a situation where you're going to have to be applying for new jobs or changing a job or going out of your comfort zone to do something that you haven't done before or um, going back to work after a long time out of work or or going to study or applying for university or anything like that you are going to have to prioritize so that you focus all your energy on getting what you want this year and that's how I've heard it and that's how I'm going to deliver it because it's it's that simple so don't allow yourself to be distracted work with others um allow for the input of those that you love absolutely it's a great month for collaborating it's a great month for you know letting people in as we said at the beginning and and trusting yourself to let the right people the right words the right advice in you know still measuring that and being aware of it but you know once you've decided what you really want prioritize what you're going to do each day in order to move towards um, gaining that and, and bringing that into your life okay so the second week you're going to be balancing so again same issue throughout February balancing of give and take opening and closing you know up and down in and out on and off <laughs> am I here or am I not here am I there or am I not there am I physical or am I not non-physical am I real or am I not real <laughs> you know am I you know all of that stuff a lot of balancing of opposites a lot of healing as well that gets done within that balancing and coming to a place of okay if I learn to balance myself within myself I know that I can receive more this is really what it is learning to balance yourself within yourself and that sometimes also means learning to protect your energy from the distractions again prioritize protect your energy from the distractions protect your energy even from your own thinking that drags you backwards that attracts the energy that that dra <laughs> distracts you even more you know because like attracts like when it comes to thinking more than anything else and you've got clear audience notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people so balancing yourself within your mind, within your heart, within your spirit, within your sense of belief about yourself. Okay, and letting things die off that don't support your new vision of, of, what you, of how you're going to value yourself. So, third week. There may be some kind of sacrifices to be made. Um, you, you also, you have that alongside follow your passion trust and follow your rene renewed passion in your love life and career so it could be that through all of this sifting and searching you come to a place in the third week where you realize that you are more passionate about some of the um it feels like possibly people or a person around you someone around you a connection or, or something you're more passionate about that than you realize and therefore you are going to make a little bit of a sacrifice on behalf for the good of of that connection to either make it work or to find out whether it can work or to um you know or to or to support the other person or something it's like something that you want may be suspended a little bit um, but again, it's a part of that balancing of giving and receiving, of intimacy, of trusting yourself, trusting that you're still valuing yourself and therefore you can allow this, this one to, to, to go because you love yourself. So whatever happens, you're going to be okay because you really feel that passionately about this connection or about your current connection to yourself. I hope that makes sense to you. 
the feeling of it makes perfect sense to me. I'm just not sure I'm explaining it properly, but I'm sure all will be revealed when you get to the third week. If you are looking for love, um, you are, it's a warning that you are being asked um, to recognise that any new connection needs to be a balance of give and take where, where everyone should feel happy, should feel satisfied, that you shouldn't feel as if you're having to give up any of who you really, really are. Um, making a sacrifice in, in terms of, making a small sacrifice could be, okay, I'm going to be the person to make the first move, or um, if it's a long-term relationship, you could say, okay, well, in this case, I'm going to let this one go, I'm going to let my, my needs go just for this couple of weeks to support this person in such and such new endeavour. Um, but generally, in terms of new connections, be wary of any signs where you're being asked to give up too much of yourself too soon and let that be a part of your new learning, your new commitment to trusting yourself, to loving yourself, to letting go of not valuing yourself, okay? So that you can let in the right type of intimacy. You might find that, that gets tested and that you don't know what the heck to do, but all ends very well because I feel as if these last two cards are a bit magical. Let's see what they are choose wisely <laughs> okay so same message again choosing sifting sorting deciding choose wisely and then you've got indigo and crystal children which to me is another card about sensitivity it the, the actual message says you have a bond with children in particular you can help children who are sensitive sometimes that is your inner child sometimes it's other children around you but sometimes it's just taking care of your inner child choosing wisely so that you don't repeat the mistakes of the past so that you you know when you see those red flags when you see those warning signs you do take heed and you do you don't jump in but also choose wisely. This can be a very much a card about having dreams, having wishes, having aspirations, and that is a good thing. So continue to trust those and continue to remember that you have decided to value yourself now. So any choices that you make, it's great to have these dreams, but you want to choose the right things now. You are, remember, you're in an important transit of choosing what to let in and what to keep out. So filter out the stuff that isn't, that's, that is a distraction, that doesn't look quite right. Prioritize the one that, look at that finger pointing upwards. Prioritize the one that you know makes absolute sense okay and move towards that steadfastly and do it in a way that allows you to honor your sensitivity if you are someone who works with children it could be that you find yourself suddenly um, offered with a, a possibility of two uh, different positions if you're looking for a new job working with children or it could be that there are you're being asked to make a choice for someone in the family for a child in the family and the message for you is Trust your heart, trust your boundaries, trust your sensitivity and feel your way through each situation. Don't, um, yeah, some things look great on paper, but then when you go to visit, you have a, a different kind of feeling. Go where you have a really good feeling, a feeling of trust, a feeling of, um, I could sit here and I could open my energy completely and be absolutely happy here. And therefore, if it was a school that I'm going to send a child to, I would be totally comfortable that they, he or she, would be happy and able to open their energy and feel, feel safe energetically because you know some of you will have very sensitive children around you look out for them look out for your own sensitivity and your inner child or inner children and have a great february that seems a bit of an intense weird one cancer but it's really really positive because what it's basically saying is take care of yourself and you can have the love you want and that's a fantastic one to have at this at this time take care of yourself trust yourself and know that whatever happens if you do love and trust and take care of yourself if this one doesn't work out it's going to be because it wasn't one that was going to allow you to continue to love yourself okay so it means there's another one waiting to come along that is going to fall in with that so you are laying the groundwork now, you are laying the foundations with what you do, with how you take care of your body, with how you work, rest and play. You're laying the foundations to say to anyone you look, I love myself, okay? Are you going to step into that space or not? Because if you're not going to step into that space, then maybe it's best if you don't step at all, okay? 
all right cancer have a fantastic february and whatever your situation is i think it's going to be a lovely lovely month of love for you a loved up month of love take care and enjoy all that it has to offer and i will speak to you again soon bye